Radio Raheem here with Andre Rozier. You have a challenge in front of you that many trainers have had before and no one has managed to get the goal. But you also got a hell of a fighter. Maybe better fighter than the other guys had. Right. What is going to be the difference between Danny Jacobs and every other man that's coming here to face Triple G? And what's the difference between you and your relationship with him that these other trainers weren't able to accomplish their goal? Well, Danny is the fastest and tall. Uh, he's the taller opponent. He is the sharper opponent, and Danny has nothing to lose. Danny is the miracle man because he has constantly been in God's graces with miracles. He's still here. He fought cancer. He he's a consummate winner, and that's what we do. We continually win, and he will be winning on March 18th. One thing that you've done that I don't see many trainers do, especially when it comes to a spotlight moment like this, is bring another trainer in to not just share the spotlight, but if you win, he's going to share in that credit. Why did you feel comfortable doing that, and how much has Virgil Hunter brought to this camp? How much, if you win, how much of the credit does he deserve? Well, let me explain to you the, the relationship first and foremost. I've known Virgil for over 21 years. He's my big brother. He calls me his little brother. And we're truly family in that sense. Virgil said he would, I asked him to let us utilize his gym because Andre Ward's there, Andre Berto, Amir Khan. And he says, well, anything you need from me, just let me know. And he is a thoughtful eye as I'm working and he's bringing his atmosphere and his flavor in. And it was a small portion, but I appreciated it because he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to, but once again, like a big brother, he makes sure that you're going to be all right. And every day that we go along, we always learn a little bit more. And watching how his guys were interacting with Danny was a wonderful thing. The fighters like Andre Ward, Andre Berto, Mir Khan, Kid Chocolate, them talking with Danny was proof positive that if you're in that environment, you're learning from everybody. And that was the goal, to see different aspects, find out nuances. And we already know how to fight. That wasn't the issue. Danny has been fighting a long time, and Danny's a winner. It was just a new atmosphere, and it was a, a, a great atmosphere. And not to forget the fact that we were at another gym called Snack. And um, that was a wonderful time, and we did what we had to do over there. Mike Basil, um, Victor Conti, right. it, it was a wonderful time. Let me ask you this, the fighters are always under the spotlight, even when they're not in this big a stage about, you know, where, where they're from, how they're able to focus on their jobs, and when they reach different levels of success, how it affects them. But you're on 24-7, you're on HBO. The camera's in your face now. You're on a huge stage yourself. You've been training people for years and years, but this is definitely the biggest spotlight you've seen. How has it changed your life, and what does that uh, do to your job and uh, what you bring to that corner? I'm an OG. <laughs> this does nothing for me. I mean, these are just moments for Danny and them. I, my time came and went. Now I'm, as every man should be, a teacher, an advisor, someone to give information to so that people can be more successful in the things they do. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's about my son, Danny Jacobs. It's about every fighter that's under my tutelage. All I do is speak a couple of words every once in a while and wear a smile and I'm good. How many ticket requests you got since you've been on TV? Oh my God, listen. <laughs> I'm not ticket tron. <laughs> that many, that many. I'm not ticket. People, I, you know, it's, it, it, comes with the, it comes with the environment. If you're there, people are going to ask and, and they don't realize that I got a serious assignment in front of me. They, hey, hey, listen, how you doing? You got tickets for me? <laughs> but, uh, um, I've, had, I've been asked a million times over. See, that's what I'm talking about. I, I know you're, you're an OG and it don't distract you, but I know that that's happening. <laughs> to, this is fight week. We're looking at some extreme weather, which is unusual, not you know something that we're used to having to deal with. There's a whole schedule of press events that may get canceled because this place is going to be snowed out. So if you're inside with your fighter, you're expecting them to be on the move, and be able to get to the gym and things like this. If you're stuck inside in a blizzard, how do you keep your, your, your fighter focused and what do you do with that time? Well, uh, being that 
this fight still has to happen. <laughs> my my Chevy, my Chevy truck, we got the big wheels on it. <laughs> Uh-oh, you coming out. <laughs> we coming out. We're going to do some snow plowing, some snow rolling, and some snowboarding. Whatever it takes to get to where we got to go, we're going to do it. But hopefully... It's not as bad as they say it's going to be because it, it might it might really take away from fight week. But if it's in God's hands, so Mother Nature, what can you do? It's all in God's hands. Radio Raheem with Andre Rozier. Is that correct? Rozier. You got it right that time. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, that last name is tricky for me sometimes. Practice, it's French and fancy. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, man, we appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Uh, it was, maybe it was our first time to have a long chat, and I appreciate it and enjoyed it. Radio Rahi with Andre Rozier. Good luck. Saturday night, March 18th, Madison Square Garden, facing Triple G for the middleweight unification. Can't wait. That's right. And remember, it's havoc time, and we are in the hurt business, and somebody's going to get hurt up in here.